Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Jimmy Manwa. I hope you guys can like it. Ah yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team. And that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great, counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaBing. And now, this is the moment USC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Jimmy Poster Boy Manoa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big ball from touch land. Now he gets back to range. of punches by him there, and he is attacking the head pretty effectively here in the clinch thus far. He's doing a great job of getting in close and just finding little spots to land the shots. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems. He's trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Single collar tie there. Nice punch by Lee. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, 
beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got to be... Oh! Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. While the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice there. job here by Lee. Something. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lee's right back to the full mount here. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clip. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big punch, man. Stop. How's he gonna follow this one? Very tricky. Oh, good kicks. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch in the clinch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, stacking them up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punch. If you get your feet on my hip, you're out. Right. You may as well just kick away. Well, he we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. That knee might have landed there. And now trying to take the back. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, five minutes more in the books, and you see the cut on his eyebrow is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash there. The cut man's going to do what he can, but, of course, oftentimes, as soon as you absorb another strike, that thing opens right back up. Second round underway. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Big head kick lands. Goes back to that left kick once again. Man, it was forward. Sean now started to show. Oh, the 
the jab followed by the right hand. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice move. Timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight oh, oh, shot right on the foot. Hand just out of range though with it. Well, a really good second round here on Lust 4 after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy, he keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Back mount now. Back to the feet now. Oh! Oh! A violent strike to the body. This could be this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Oh! Oh, straight right. Man, it was lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to it. Well, the jab has been looking great. Oh! oh. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, so this is the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Jimmy Manwa, thank you guys for watching. Well he's smiling ear to ear and why not after a knockout like that, I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean this is what dreams are made of, you dream of the knockout like this and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.